Uh, we're going to test these two different sets of uh, knee braces. I call them adjustable knee braces. They call them a backup strut. Uh, we're both, we basically both have our own GLs or tabs. Now remember, all GLs are tabs, but not all tabs are GLs. Brand new one, four inch boss with a 14 inch perch on it. 24 inches total length. It's my answer to the Nelson run. This is what's in this guy here. So he's in like three inches, okay. One of the things that I do is I try to make things so that they're, you know, and more economical and easier to make. And so this is, to me, is comparable to this because um, I, I, I feel like you should put, if you're gonna have the boss, you should put it in the tree. Uh, to me, I want it to grow inside the tree right away. They're wanting it to continue to grow around here. They feel that it's gonna take longer to grow around this. And I say it's going to be, take longer to grow around this. It has to grow in here, and then it grows out this way. So it has to, once it gets to this point, it has to come in here, and then it still continues to grow out. And to me, once this boss is encapsulated inside the tree, that is when it's strongest because it starts to work on the back side of it and and also it starts to seal it becomes less intrusive to the tree and it seals that boss right inside it becomes like one with the tree and um, they like to do it this way and this is this is more expensive to make it's more expensive to put on there uh, so um, these cost more This is our sapwood, okay, we've gone through our sapwood, and then we get into the redwood. This is, you know, dug fir is red fir, and it's because of the heartwood is red, so we're starting to get into that, and we want to go in three inches. Remember, you want to start going all the way around first. Mm -hmm. We're going to test these two different systems and see which one holds the most weight. Yeah. All right, so this is our what we call our strut backup system. So typically we're backing up the ends of our tabs with a turnbuckle and a cable. This is a system we designed to do it when either it's going to be in the way of walking around the tree or the, trees, the tree house is going to be in the way for the, the cable backup. <laughs> this is just a copy off of my design over there. <laughs> I've never seen it before. <laughs> All right, so should we crank her up? Let's do it, yeah. Is that, two, is that thing bending? Well, it'll deflect, yeah. Yeah, well. That's, so that's 6,000. PSI or 6,000 pounds? Well, it's 2,000 PSI in a two inch cylinder. We're going to four. Getting up to five. We're getting up to six. Or 55. Where are we at? Uh, not quite six yet. It's right at 55 and going right back down to it. Oh. Nothing out of the tree. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh. Pulling it up. Oh. Oh. So that's the pullout. Yeah. yeah. Pullout is at six? Yeah. All right, what, what happened here was. Uh, Basically, with a knee brace, um, you have, there's an outward pull on the top of your knee brace. Look at that bent, it bent that thing, man. Can you measure that? So, um, look, look at that. You're going to put that back in stock, Carol. So, all right, with a knee brace, basically, you're pushing here, right? And 
so this lever is going this way, right? And then your, your knee brace, you're supporting it here. So this is holding this top part here. And this, there's a motion in here that's pushing here, but then there's a, another motion that's pulling it out. It wants to pry it out. And that's basically what happened. Well, we were getting close to six. Six, so so 18, 19,000 pounds. At six, it's, if it was six, it would be 3.14 times six. Is that oh, right, because, yeah, it's a two-inch cylinder. So, okay. so, so the radius of a two-inch cylinder is one, and is so it's right? pi r squared. All right. And what's pi? I don't know. That's what, you, <laughs> yeah. that's what I eat usually. I love pies. <laughs>
You know, this is a great conclusion. That's a... Look out. So what do we got? 72. You got 72. Yep. 73. 74. <laughs> Seven, six, seventy-eight. Man. All right, let's uh, let's hold it there. Now we're gonna release it. Watch it. Watch the log. Watch the log. Whoa! All right. What an incredible conclusion. <laughs> yeah. The, the uh, NTS system and the Michael Garnier system, both of them failed, but when you put them together, no failure. No, we have to do this for the show, you guys. You know, they did this for their show. Oh, no, you did. We already did it. No, no, but we're going to copy it. <laughs> we, we'll find out what that's like. Huh? <laughs> Okay, this is for all the treehouse guys, all right? This is the hardware we use, basically, you know? This other thing, this other strut here, this is actually pretty good, I like it, you know? A little bit more expensive, but uh, yeah. I, you know, I would say go ahead and spend the money if you need to. Nobody knows who these guys are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is just going to be the uh, first in a series of challenges between the treehouse guys and the other guys. <laughs> so, so with this knee brace wars today, we had the whole NTS style over here, and we had the Garnier style over here, and they both reached a failure point. But now, when we combined the two... We couldn't fail them. We couldn't fail them. I mean, the log bent, the piston bent. I mean, it just said, hey, I had enough. So it's a perfect compromise. It's a great solution. And, I agree. and, and you know, it's a tie score, yeah. man. Right. Okay. The point is that 20 years ago, Michael and I... Um, it was really Michael. I want to give Michael full credit because he was, he was just trying to fill this place up. I was just writing books and... I had a, a book that came out in 94 with the Peacock Treehouse on the cover, and Michael called me up all pissed off about the fact that it was uh, Tequilma, is what I said in the book. And there's no Tequilma on the maps, and this is before our GPS and everything, and Michael, of course, had a fit, like, Pete, <laughs> there's no Tequilma! <laughs> there's, there's Cave Junction, if you could have said Cave Junction. But then he said, but why don't we do a conference, and we can invite everybody to come and, and learn about what we're doing. And you know, you with your book, you can get it out there a little bit. It was kind of before the internet was really happening, but the point is cooperation. And you know, this is a, an, a perfect example of what this whole little group is about. It's sharing information, showing where we failed and where we're, where we're going and what, what works, you know? And we've been sharing this freely this whole time. It's been the sort of like open source. I'm not a software guy, but I, I love the fact that we're sharing all this stuff. <laughs> and so there it is, and it's great that we're sharing. And look, there it is, two of these different parts together. Daryl, huge part in this. Daryl is our hardware guy at NTS, and you know, this, this is really, frankly, beyond me, but he and Kugler get together, and, and Michael, of course, inspired all of this real stuff with the very Peacock Treehouse. So you know, I just draw it and, and try to yammer and tell people about it so we can get more work for these guys. You, you know what nickname I gave this guy very early on? I remember. Who are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the other guy. I'm, I'm the treehouse master's master. Right? <laughs> All right. All right. Makes me know this, is, this is the post tree boy. The post tree boy. Yeah. Uh, no. Like you, you never liked it. Turns <laughs> out I am. All right. Well done, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Yeah.